Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Uh, we're continuing to be in the Gospel of Mark chapter 1, and uh, we're talking about something that, honestly, uh, in the churches I've grown up in and been around, uh, Christians like to talk about more than they like to do. We're talking about prayer. And I just want to share with you Jesus' example and, and share some ideas about what we can learn from that. Uh, in verse 35 of Mark 1, the, the gospel says, And rising very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus departed and went out to a desolate place, and there he prayed. And Simon and those who were with him, the apostles, searched for Jesus, and they found him and said to him, Everyone is looking for you. And Jesus said to them, Let us go on to the next towns, that I may preach there also, for that is why I came. And he went throughout all Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and casting out demons. Uh, just in case you're wondering what happened before this, Jesus had healed you know, crowds of people in Capernaum, and he was a rock star in that area. I mean, people were flocking to him in the multitudes, and, uh, and it says, Jesus, in the midst of all this healing and all this teaching and all this power and all this acclaim, he went out to meet the Father and prayed. He prayed. Now, Jesus made time to pray. I think you and I need to make time to pray. That, let me just say it again. If the Son of God and Savior of the world made time to have conversation with the Father, uh, that's something that we need to do as well. And, and understand that, that that's what prayer is. Prayer is conversation with God. Prayer is, is relationship with God. It's nurturing that intimate relationship between you and your Savior. Uh, prayer is not only requesting help. Yes, we pray when we need help. God help me is probably the most common prayer, right? I pray it every day when I roll out of bed in the morning because I am not a morning person. Uh, it, prayer is not only interceding for others. Yes, much of my prayer is about praying on your behalf, on behalf of those that, that uh, have needs, uh, that are hurting, that are struggling. It involves that, but that's not the focal point of prayer. Prayer is about nurturing that relationship we have with the living God. And, and, and Jesus made time to pray. Not just a few moments, but he made extended time to pray. He got away from people and he focused on God. Now, I want to encourage you to have daily quiet times. Hopefully this you know, video is part of your quiet time because we're doing some teaching and offering you some encouragement. Uh, and I want you to have that time daily of just a, a few moments in God's Word and read and, and then spend some time in prayer. But can I encourage you to go beyond that? Uh, if you want a deeper prayer life, if you want a closer relationship with Jesus, can I encourage you to plan some extended prayer? I mean, I mean maybe you need to set aside an hour and, and just talk with God for that hour. Maybe you could set aside a half a day and, and pray for half a day. Maybe you could take an, a whole day and just say, God, I'm going to give you this whole day and I'm going to talk with you and I'm going to read scripture and I'm going to listen to you. I, I, right now, some of you are kind of going, I wouldn't know how to pray for a whole day. I wouldn't know how to pray for half a day. I wouldn't know how to pray for an hour. Well, um, that's why you, you start and you build up. You start wherever you are, and some of you are like, I don't even pray for 15 minutes. I guess I need to work on that. Start where you need to, but um, can I just tell you what I'm talking about is what I do? It's what I do. I, I don't want to do this without spending time with God and being able to offer up wisdom from His Word to you unless I've been with God Himself. In fact, my prayer uh, on a regular basis is, God, I'll only show up if you're going to show up. See, so my schedule is this. There's several uh, two to three extended prayer times during the week, an hour to two hours where I just try to focus on God and listen to God and, and, and talk with him, intercede for others, uh, and be with him. And, and then uh, I've got two to three times a year where I go away for a couple of days just to be alone with God, just focused, intentional, extended prayer time where I can hear from God and be still and know that he is God and and just pour out my heart to him. And then once a year, I go away for a better part of a week where I can just focus on God and be with God and hear from him and try to figure out what he wants me to preach this next year and, and, and what we're supposed to do. 
Those extended prayer times, they are, they are nourishment for my soul. In fact, can I just tell you that without those, I would be lost. There are times when I just desperately go, I just need to be alone, I need to be away with God. Um, that's what Jesus did. And here's what results when, uh, when you spend that time with God. The more time you spend with God, the more focused on his mission we become. I told you Jesus was a rock star in Capernaum. I mean, the crowds loved him and everyone was looking for him. Did you catch that? The disciples found him and they said, hey, wow, everyone is looking for you. Everyone wants to find you. And what did Jesus say? We're not going back to the, the people who want our uh, time and attention some more. We're going to go to the new places. We're going to go to the other towns that haven't heard the message. We're going to go and share with them or we're going to heal them and we're going to encourage them. You see, the mission is what we're here for. And the more time you spend with God, the more focused on his mission you and I are going to become. So uh, here's my challenge. I hope you'll hear it and maybe heed it. Find some time today, this week, to give God more time than you've been given him. And, uh, and then email me and tell me about your experiences uh, having some of that extended time in prayer with the Father. I, I would love to know how God is revealing himself to you. Have a great day and God bless.